Hi everyone, my name is Ramana Reddy and I am a lawyer from Hyderabad. Today I wanted to talk to you about two applications that are very routinely filed or which are very commonly filed in civil cases. These applications are filed under Rule 32 and Rule 33 of the Civil Rules of Practice. Now, let's say for example that you have a company that manufactures chairs, that you have sold these chairs to a particular person, that particular person is not paying you. You want to file a recovery of money case against that particular person. Now, the company itself is not a human. It is, you know, an entity that is on, that exists on paper. So, now if the company wants to file a case against a person, it needs to depute a human on, his, on, on its behalf so that that human can prosecute the case on behalf of the company. Now, obviously, one way to do it is to engage a lawyer, obviously, which you will have to do no matter what happens. I mean, you can choose to or not to do so. But let's assume that you do engage the lawyer. But even after you engage the lawyer, you still want a person to appear on behalf of the company to give evidence and to file papers on behalf of the company. Now, in that case, what you do is, since the company itself is just on paper, you, give, you issue a board resolution in favor of a person who works for the company and who's aware of the facts of the circumstances. Now, as far as the management is concerned, it issues a board resolution in the favor of the employee and that is that. But what the lawyer who's representing you also does or should also do is that he needs to draft two applications. He needs to first draft an application under Rule 32 of the Civil Rules of Practice so that, you know, and that Rule 32 is given by the company in favor of the employee. So think of it as a principal and agent relationship where the principal is the company and the agent is the employee who is actually representing the company. So the principal, that is the company, issues a Rule 32 in favor of the employee who is appearing on behalf of the company. So, and in turn, the employee who is now the agent of the company, who is appearing for the company, issues something called a Rule 33 in favor of the company accepting the agency or accepting the power that is vested in him now to appear on behalf of the company and to litigate the case on behalf of the company. So these are very two commonly, uh, you know, filed applications. I mean, in any particular case, if there is a company that's involved, then a Rule 32 and Rule 33 are, 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 are have to be filed. And now this is not restricted only to companies. You know, there could be a case, for example, where a person who wants to file a case is based out of the U.S. and he has a brother or a sister who's living in India, or he has a friend who is, who's living in India and he wants the friend to appear or to file cases on his behalf. Even in that kind of a scenario, it's the same thing. Although the person living in the US is a real human being, I mean, we hope that he is a real human being, he wants to issue a, you know, a, a, a general or a special power of attorney in favor of the person or the brother or sister or the friend living in India. And this friend will go and will file the case on behalf of the person living back in the US. So the friend who is the principal in, the, I mean, sorry, the, the person who's living in the US, who is the principal here? He will be issuing a Rule 32 and a special power of attorney in favor of the person who is living in India. And the person who's living in India, who's now the agent of the person living in the US, he will have to file a Rule 33 accepting the agency that is now vested in him. Uh, obviously, I mean, there are, if you are executing a special power of attorney, and this is a bit outside the scope of the video, but if you are executing a general or a special power of attorney, and you are based out of the US and you want to issue, you know, this, this, this ability to somebody to appear on your behalf, then if you are executing the document back in the US, you'll have to get that document notarized and you'll also have to get it, uh, uh, you know, uh, sealed before the district registrar here in Hyderabad. So that, uh, in summary, is a Rule 32, Rule 33 petition. 
you know, these petitions are generally filed between principals and agents, uh, along with a board resolution or along with a general or special power of attorney. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching.